Split Screens is an efficient way to watch the video tutorials and apply it to the program Blender. After observing a few students, they taught me that Split Screens is the way to go. So now I'm going to teach all my classes. To start with Split Screens, I'm going to go ahead and double left click on the Blender icon. I'm going to left click out of the title screen. And then, let's say I accidentally hit the Maximize button. That's that square. When I hit the Maximize button, it locks to my monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and hit these two boxes here to restore down. Now I can freely move the window. Now if you notice in the bottom right corner, you will see two diagonal arrows. This will allow me to work with the height and the width of the window. So I'm clicking and dragging when I have those two arrows to make it fit half the screen. Now that I have Blender in half of the screen window, I'm going to go ahead and open my video tutorials to fill the other half. I'm going to go to My Computer, and if it's not on your desktop, go to Start, My Computer. I'm going to double left click on My Computer, go to the V drive, V in parentheses here, because Graphic Arts is very awesome. Speaking of Graphic Arts, I'm going to double click on the Graphic Arts folder, and then go to the class GA8. Then I'm going to go to GA8 Blender, and then the Blender Tutorials. And I'm just going to pick a video in the mesh, Shape Man. And this is Super 3 Boys' first tutorial. If you're unable to access my network, for example, you're not one of my students, you can go to YouTube and type in Super 3 Boys' first tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and open up the bookmark. I'm going to minimize this window. And now that I have the tutorial here, I'm going to want to fit this on half the screen. So I'm going to do the same thing by going to the corner, getting the diagonal two arrows, and clicking and dragging so it will fit half the screen. All right. I'm going to watch the video. Let's hit play. And the great thing about these video tutorials is you can fast forward to the last part you were at. So let's say I was right here. And for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and apply what he is doing in the Blender program. So what I need to do is click on the window, and you'll notice it gets darker. That lets me know that I'm in the Blender program. I'm going to go ahead and get to the correct view that I want. Okay. And then I'm going to follow Superboy 3's video. So once I watch the video, Then I go ahead and click on the blender and I apply it. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the size. Let's say the video for time's sake told you to change the size. And then I'm just going to fast forward it to where it goes next. And it wants me to duplicate. I've watched this video before. You're going to watch the whole thing. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the blender window and shift D to duplicate and apply what's going on in the video. Now let's say you're having a tough time seeing it because I, I noticed it's really hard to see these kind of grays. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this full screen right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And then you can hit escape to get it back on the half screen. And then apply by clicking on Blender and applying in the video. So efficiently, you are watching the video and applying, watching the video and applying. And you can always rewind, fast forward, or however you want to do the video and use your time effectively. Split screens are going to do this and it's going to be really, really awesome. So now you're going to make like a banana and split your screens. Yeah. Thank you.